What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gent It's your boy Evan A watch is the most perfect accessory that any man can wear It is stylish, it is classy, it is elegant and most importantly it is functional Although it is important to wear a watch But it's also equally important to know what are some of the rules when you are wearing a watch So that when we wear a watch we don't look ignorant, right? We want to look good and we want to be like, yo, I know what's up. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the seven rules that all men needs to follow when he wears a watch. And without further ado, let's begin. The first watch rule that all men needs to follow is to wear that watch on their non-dominant hand. Now, this is the most basic watch rule that everyone needs to know, right? If you are a lefty, you should wear a watch on your right hand. For righties, which is for most people, including myself, we should wear our watch on our left hand. It is just more functional and less obstructive this way. So that the watch won't get into our way when we are performing tasks with our dominant hand. Like writing, doing some handiwork, Work. You don't want your watch to get in the way and risk being scratched or being damaged. The second watch rule that all men should follow is to match your watch to the occasion. Just like your outfits, you should be wearing a different watch to a different occasion. Basically, your watch should fit the occasion that you are attending. For example, you don't want to wear a super bulky, super casual watch like a G-Shock or something when you are attending a really, really important meeting or when you are about to sign a really important deal or when you are attending a wedding. You want to wear something that is more dressy, something that is simpler and more sophisticated. Similarly, when you are going to the gym when you're working out when you're going for a hike or some physical activity you don't want to be wearing a super expensive super elegant watch because you can just easily scratch or damage your watch a pro tip to recognize if a watch is more dressy or more casual is to look at its strap rubber and NATO straps are definitely more casual options whereas the simple leather strap and the metal bracelets are gonna be the more formal options with the simple leather strap as the most formal option. Now, if you're thinking, nah, I don't wanna buy so many different watches for different occasions. Now, I got you covered. Definitely check out my video on what is the most versatile all season or occasion watch. I also made a video on the only three watches that you will ever need. I'll link them down in the description below if you wanna check them out after this video. Now, the third watch through that all men needs to follow this one is more like a pro tip and that is the placement of your watch. Your watch should be placed behind your wrist bone so that your hand can have the full range of motion. If you wear your watch on your wrist bone or in front of your wrist bone, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. It's gonna hit the top of your hand. It's gonna be an obstruction. It's gonna be annoying as heck. And plus, when you wear your watch a little higher on your wrist, when your wrist is a little thicker, then your watch is not gonna make your wrist look so skinny. Pro tip right there. On to watch rule number four and that is to wear a watch that fits your wrist. It shouldn't be too loose, it shouldn't be too tight when you put them on. To see if it fits you properly, you should be able to fit a finger comfortably inside the strap when you are wearing it. If you find it hard to fit a finger, it is too tight, it is not gonna be comfortable when you are wearing the watch, it is gonna restrict your blood circulation when you bend your wrist. If you can fit two fingers or more, then your watch is definitely too loose. But the good thing about watches is that it can easily be adjusted to fit your wrist properly, especially if it is a leather strap and if it is a metal bracelet, it is still easy to take off a few metal links when you bring it to a watch shop. On to the fifth watch shoe that all men needs to follow and that is to find a watch that has a watch face that fits your wrist. When you put on a watch, your watch lux, which is the top of a watch to the bottom of your watch, should not extend over over your wrist. If you're an average guy like me with a wrist size of about 6 and 3 quarter inches, around 17 cm, then you should keep your watch size between 36 to 42 mm. This Seiko SKX007 is a 42 mm watch. It is probably the biggest watch that I can wear. Anything bigger than this size is gonna make my wrist look really skinny and petite. And anything that is smaller than 36 millimeter is probably gonna move into the feminine territory. This is the 33 
mm watch that I used to wear. It is um pretty small. On to the sixth watch rule that all men must follow, and that is to never wear fake watches. I mean, this applies to any other thing that we wear as well. When you wear fake stuff, people would just not respect you. It is like pretending to be someone you're not. And when you wear a beautiful timepiece on your wrist, people are gonna notice and people are gonna compliment you. When people compliment you, hey, that's a nice watch. Is that a Rolex? Or hey, what a nice Rolex you have. What are you gonna say? If you say thank you, you know deep down in your heart that you are just lying to yourself and if you said nah it's fake people would just lose their respect towards you the beauty of watches is that there are so many different variety of different styles and different price ranges and you don't really need to buy a fake watch to look good and even if you really love the design there are all much watches that looks really similar as well for example the Orient Day Date to the Rolex President the Seiko Sub 880 to the Cartier Tank so there's really no reason to buy a fake watch, all right? Last but not least, the seventh watch rule that all men needs to follow and that is to never buy a watch that you cannot afford. I don't care how much you love it, how much you just mm, cannot wait to have it. Never get into any form of debt or never go broke just for the sake of getting a watch. Now, of course, this applies to any other luxury items as well. I know how addictive it can be when you're getting into the world of watches, when you become a watch collector, and it's just so tempting to go out of control because every watch is just so unique and so beautiful that you just want to collect them all. And watch collecting can get really expensive really fast. But there is nothing worse than wearing an expensive Rolex while living paycheck to paycheck check not knowing if you can afford your rent or your next meal the truth is most people are just not into watches right not many people will notice if you're wearing a super expensive watch so even if you're wearing a rolex and Audemars Piguet a Patek Philippe not many people will probably recognize it so when you buy a watch never buy it so that you can look rich you can look higher status than other people buy it for yourself for your own enjoyment because you love the history, the craftsmanship behind the timepiece or simply just because you love how it looks and only buy it because you have earned it. And that is basically it, the seven watch rules that all men needs to follow. If you found this video helpful, please help the boy out and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified immediately when I drop a dope video like this. Once again, my name is Evan, you're watching Your Average Gent and I'll see each and every single one of you in the next video. Bam!